I guess we're gonna run it back. I mean, we're doing okay, right? We're doing okay with it. We're we're nine and one. <laughs> we're nine and one with the team. So I think maybe we just run it back for another another go around. Yeah, I think we run it back for another go around. I'd like to get I'd like to get at least one more good set in with it. Feels good to be back in like a non great league kind of format. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Bravest potato. Good luck, friend. Uh, Annihilate. That's a lead we can handle. Typically has nothing. Okay. This is not a, again, like the, uh, the combo shadow claw water types are really tricky for us as, uh, as Pokemon to swap into, right? Like these are Pokemon that we tend to struggle with. Um, if they no shield this, I'll just go to Giratina. This thing has a hard time putting a lot of damage on Giratina. It's got a water move, a bug move, a flying move. None of them do much, right? So we can just kind of safely farm it, which puts us in really good position going into that Annihilate if it comes back. Who, again, doesn't put much fast move pressure on us. Right. There we go. And now if it's Annihilate, like... Mm. Oh, Articuno. Oh, no. Uh, we might be reverse baiting him here, by the way. Right. We might be reverse baiting this Articuna here. I don't know what year it is, but I'm currently playing a, a Ancient Power Giratina into Articuno matchup. So... That's certainly an unexpected twist of fate. <laughs> this was not necessarily the matchup I was expecting to play. I think this is fine. You can you can icy win me here. That's okay. Hi. Good old perfect undercharge there <laughs> by accident. I don't even know. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying. No. I don't want you night slashing me. Night slashing is how you win. I really don't think I need to care about uh, anything here aside from getting punked by a shadow ball. So switch timer is not going to be up and they're not going to get to uh, two night slashes and a uh, shadow ball in the time they have. And then pew pew. I appreciate I appreciate that they brought an Articuno. They brought a spoon to a knife fight, but hey, you know what? Good for them. Good for them. And it's coming from the world's number one Articuno fan. Certifiably the world's number one Articuno fan. I just don't know that it's good anymore. <laughs> I remember when it was. Boy oh boy, Polyrath Articuno core. Let's go. Those were the days. Go back far enough on my YouTube, you'll see a lot of Articuno battles. Uh, a Haxorus. Fascinating. Oh, on the dragon move, too. So this thing can earthquake me, right? Not from this energy, it can't, but it can. Breaking swipe. Uh, surf. Yeah, okay. Surf's not really the move you'd be excited about throwing into a Tapu Fini, to say the least. Okay. Like, I don't think it's correct to switch here, right? Like, 
I mean, we could also throw a surf. <laughs> At this point, right? Yeah, surf. That's fine. Oh, awkward lag spike there. Remember, they're, they've got an, a, a defense debuff on from Nature's Madness, so this actually might do like a reasonable... Okay, yeah, they're shielding, so that's fine. Come on, get him. Oh... All right, we are going to use one shield here because I'm going to come out of this with a lot of energy. And the Nature's Madness debuff is good enough that I think almost regardless of what comes in. Oh, did they dip and duck me? They showed me an Annihilate, but did they switch again? They did. They went to Greedent. Okay, that's fine. I mean, obviously, we're not thrilled about like how this is shaping up. The Garidin would be a problem if we had maintained parity, but we did not maintain parity. We're quite a bit ahead now, so. This also ate a Nature's Madness, which is uh, really amping up the damage that it's taking, which feels pretty good. And then we shield this and we have a Shadow Ball ready to go for the Annihilate. Yeah, GG's. We're basically just feasting on Annihilates in the back. That's kind of the team comp at this point, right? Is like, hey, if you've got an Annihilate in the back, you probably lose. <laughs> Our whole team is good into Annihilate, which seems to be the hotness here in around 2650 ELO. It's Bob the third best, not the first or second best Bob the third. Uh, belly bolt. Excuse me. <laughs> the fuck? I don't, I don't know what moves belly bolt has just as an aside. I mean, I assume some kind of electric moves, right? Some kind of electric moves. Is it wild charge? Is it a wild charger? Discharge, okay. All right, into Drapion, Shadow Drapion. Okay, so right now Tapu Fini not looking great. Not looking great, but... The Belly Bolt also did kind of eat uh did also kind of eat that uh, Nature's Madness like a champ, didn't it? Kind of ate that Nature's Madness like a champ. We're definitely looking right now at like, hey, is there a way for Skeledurge to be the hero here? Drapion is a bit tough for the team, right? The Dark Poisons are all a bit tough for the team. Right now, we're, right now we're very much looking for Skeledurge to be oh to be the hero uh that we need right all this is fine crunch <laughs> all this is not fine ggs all right all right all right all right yeah the belly the belly bolt drapey on uh swampert team yeah you have our number you have our number, friend. That one's not happening. <laughs> we could we could hope. But as they say, wish in one hand, shit in the other, see which one fills up first. Also, why is there a tornado in the background of this? It's like it's raining. There's a fucking tornado. <laughs> I don't think there's any tornadoes here. I, I, I'm not living I'm not living in, in Tornado Alley currently. I think these tornadoes might be a little little uh much. It might be a little much. Uh, Polyrath. That is a good lead for us. Uh, Poison Jab Muck is pretty bad. Right? This is pretty bad. I'm going to hit it with the Nature's Madness. And then we'll go to Dirgy Boy. 
which is gonna have to go in the hole I think well I could probably tank one dark move right right yes I can okay perfect perfect this puts us in a pretty good a pretty good place Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're just going to concede. Okay. Okay. GG's. <laughs> I didn't think I had the shadow ball ready. I wanted to I wanted the one more incinerate. So, all right. Well. Yeah, that was going to be rough for them. I mean, the muck was great into our team. It just wasn't that good into our team, right? We just have to find a way to combo play it and then put ourselves in a position where we can't get farmed it's cone stole good luck friend uh oh, fergalator shadow fergalator i don't like this i really don't like this this is not a matchup i like i don't want to be here <laughs> playing this matchup <laughs> We just don't do any, like, the fast move pressure is just so bad, and they're so spammy, right? And Hydro Cannon is such a strong move that it just, like, this shouldn't be a close matchup when you think about it, but it absolutely is a close matchup, right? And by close, I mean we might even lose it. Oh, well, good on them for throwing. We CMP'd on that move, but, uh, all right. We're going to do something real greedy here. Greed is good, chat. Greed is good, right? Greed is good. Greed is good. Okay. Greed is good. Ooh, an Annihilate. So we know that uh, we're happy about that. The no shield is interesting. I don't love shielding a Night Slash there, obviously. But... I will happily shield both of these moves because we're going to have the croc with at least two incinerates and a thick boy in the back. Like we're definitely looking at, uh, <laughs> well, good news, bad news, right? For our opponent here. Two. Oh, you know, I needed to get out a little faster here. I think we might lose this just because of how bad this matchup is, right? Uh, oh, no, they're just going to concede. Okay. All right. Fine with me. Fine with me. Since this Friday drinking game every time Croc versus Ape, let's go. <laughs> 